Hello again, Cinnamon Bun. So, we're finally doing my bullet journal video. This is pure, unadulterated, organizational, nerd fun for me, but hopefully you'll get something out of it too. If you're new to bullet journaling, be sure to check out my intro video. The link will be down in the description below. And please remember that yours doesn't have to look like anyone else's. So if you hate your handwriting or mine seems super overly complicated, like it doesn't mean that bullet journaling isn't for you. It just means that my system isn't for you. Also worth keeping in mind that absolutely everyone starts out a bit shit and improves their journal over time. That's just what happens when any human does anything for any period of time, we get better at it. So you'll see that in mine, you'll see how it started out and how it ends up, so don't stress out if it doesn't look exactly how you want it to look. Okay, let's dive in. Okie doke, kids. So this is my bullet journal. Um, I didn't paint my nails for this video, which is a grave mistake on my part. So let's just jump right in. Um, in the first page, I've just got a couple of bits of notepaper, some words to keep. And then we've got my index. So um, I've just got my like contact details if I ever lose this, cause it would be the end of my life. <laughs> my index is pretty standard. I don't actually index my dailies though, um, which I think is maybe part of the reason that so many people run out of room. Cause like, I feel like it's kind of superfluous and I never really have to go back and find a particular day anyway. So like, I think that's a good space saving thing is to just have like, you know, the monthly spreads and other things and stuff and not daily from the index. So here's my future log. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just, you know, columns, January, February, March, and so on. Um, I really prefer vertical like columns instead of like um, grids or horizontal things. So that's why I did that. So far it's been working really well. Um, I never really run out of room. Um, so that's fine. Um, these little, Turquoise boxes are like my writing plans, basically. I find it useful if things aren't set in stone to just add them in pencil at the bottom and then um, I can do the pen thing when they either happen or don't happen. Um, so my first month um, was February and I've just got like a little, it's like actually some wrapping paper, like card sort of stuff, like down the sides to try and um, differentiate those pages, um, which I do like, but I started using washi tape later on which actually works a lot better because that was really finicky as fuck to like cut that and try and align it and double tape it and all that shit so um this this is quite a lot of swearing for a bullet journal video isn't it <laughs> so this is a super simple layout it's basically the basic bullet journal layout so um you've just got the days down the side um and then a to-do list here so this notebook um, is not a life term or a moleskin. I actually went out and looked for both of those on the day that I decided I wanted a bullet journal and couldn't find the dotted ones anywhere in town. So I got this one instead. Um, I will put the links in the description for what it is. The cover is like kind of leather bound so like it's actually really handy because um, like it's got marks and droplets of tea and all sorts and it just kind of wipes off which is awesome because um, otherwise it would probably be a bit of a state by now. Um, but because this isn't like the standard life term or moleskin, like, so the dots are actually a lot smaller on mine than they are on most people's. So most people can fit the entire month down one page. When I, so these are each two, um, two rows, I guess, um, for each day. Um, when I did one row, it like came to about here and it was far too small, like I could barely fit anything in. I was like, that's really impractical. So I ended up ripping out those pages and doing it again, this time with a double line for each, but then a double line for each doesn't make it all fit on the one page um, for this notebook. So I pretty much always have this little overhang of the rest of the month at the top, um, which is fine because I've figured out ways to make this space useful in that it's not a whole page. Yeah, this is pretty scrappy and um, as you can see, I ran out of space in my to-do list for the month because that's one of the things I use the most and yeah. So then we've just got some February dailies. They look really different from what my current ones look like. Really all I do is just write um, the day and then um, have a line here to delineate them. I didn't purposefully didn't do weekly spreads because I've never really found them useful. I think like the month and um, seeing it like vertical like that is fine and then my dailies like and I wouldn't set them up beforehand either. I would just like wait until Friday's over. And then if I need one the next day, then I'll set up a new one just kind of as I go. Cause I find like, if I'm, if I'm setting them up in advance, I basically just ended up wasting space because I didn't need to use it every day. So um, this is my first attempt at a tracker. Um, I started out with 
um, a cycle log, a reading log. Um, this was tracking work on my course, which is on hiatus. If you want to know more about that, you can go and see my what I'm working on post on my blog at rachelsteven.com. I got some things done. The system, the, <laughs> the key here wasn't entirely well thought out. So this was my super rudimentary tracker in the beginning. Um, just got some more dailies. That's kind of what they look like. Um, the good thing about um, the size of the dot grid on mine is that um, if I use two rows for writing, then it kind of comes out with these like tall letters, which I kind of like the style of anyway. That's kind of tends to be how I write anyway. So it's handy as a guide. Uh, more dailies. Um, I had a bit on finances. Obviously, that's private, so I'm not going to show you it, but um, basically all I did was figure out all my living costs and then what I was earning and the difference and so basically like my disposable income and stuff, which is a useful thing to do. So this is March. Again, I've just got this little divider thingy. The date in pink and the day of the week in bluey, turquoisey colour. Um, I, I have this separated because my, like, what work I'm doing changes a lot, like, day to day and week to week because um, I juggle all sorts of different things so I really needed this for shifts and writing days and all sorts of stuff like that and um, so that's like what I'm doing for the bulk of the day like what kind of work day it is or if it's an off day and then everything else which might be in the evening or later on or um, which isn't to do with work just goes in that other section so it's pretty simple um, and again I've got this little overhang. So this was my first proper tracker and I'm tracking well, cycling, reading, writing, um, navigate novel noveling wilderness again which was that course I was working on. I did nothing on that that month. When I made a video, Instagram and Twitter and basically all I learned from this is that I'm on Twitter a lot which I already knew. So this was my first mood tracker um, and the format is basically almost entirely translated from a CBT tool that I used um, in which they had you rank your mood on a scale of one to ten and so there's two axes here happy or low or calm and anxious um, which is obviously going to be applicable if you're talking about um, mood in terms of depression and anxiety so the idea is that one is the most calm or the most happy and ten is the most anxious or the most low. Um, I actually did this the other way around, um, so calm and happy are at the bottom, so I was aiming to go as low as possible, and in the next month I was like, that doesn't make any sense, so I flipped it around. But yeah, so obviously I missed a few days in the middle here, but this is something that I started that I'm still doing and I think is really, really helpful. Um, it does mean that I need to do it every day, otherwise I forget um, like what I was feeling that day. But I do really like to be able to see, yeah, that because like my issues with anxiety and things, it's um, it's really good to have like actual stats on that to reassure myself, oh hey, actually I haven't been anxious 24 seven for the last week or whatever. This was just tracking my hours, how much I was working in coffee per week um, so that I could keep track of my pay and stuff, which isn't very interesting. And these are the books I was reading as well. As you can see, I read a lot of books at the same time and I don't tend to finish a lot of them because I'd start new ones, um, so I didn't finish any of those that month, I don't think. Then on the next pages, I've just got my to-do lists. So, so this time I broke it into a bunch of different kinds of lists because I find that quite useful. Um, instead of just having one big one. Um, yeah, I didn't really use this a whole lot. As you can see, that was just general stuff. Um, but my three main lists, which I'm still using, are business things. So that refers to um, anything that's like admin or social media, anything about writing which isn't writing. Um, correspond is where I keep track of replying to people. This is a really important list. Um, I don't always manage to get around to it, but like, um, emails and YouTube comments and texts and phone calls and anything else like anything else where I need to get back to someone about something goes in this list and that means that hopefully I shouldn't forget about it um, and this one is life slash home slash health and um, that list later becomes hearth because I just thought that was maybe a good word that kind of sums up all of it um, and it's just kind of what it says on the tin personal things doctor's appointments dentists um, things to do with a flat and a house or Elfie and kind of boring life admin stuff. Um, so let's move on. Uh, we've just got some more dailies here. Just making some notes for helping some people with some coffee things. Dailies. I got my mum a new iPhone so I made a list of things that I wanted to teach her to do on it. Um, and these are just some notes 
on how I wanted to change my next monthly spread um, based on that one. So more dailies. Um, North of the End kind of collection, I guess they're called. Um, after I got funded, I knew that I would have a lot of stuff to organise and sort out, so I just made a wee list. Um, and then we have April, and now you can see we're starting to get somewhere um, when it comes to my monthly spread. So I started bringing this in a little, um, and I'm using this like gold washi tape as my divider instead. And I've made this a little bit a bit shorter because I've started abbreviating things for my workday, which is fine. This side I actually added like midway through the month, and it's meant to be like my editorial calendar for social media and videos and sorts of things. Um, really, I was getting a bit ahead of myself because I had a ton of like kind of where am I going with my channel things to sort out before I could actually start on that but I wanted to um, know that I had somewhere to put it. And now my tracker is starting to get rolling as well. Um, so as you can see like I, instead of having like a space in the middle I brought them together and this line in the middle is my shifts and my work days. So like this is where like it's like my schedule for my work days and then this is where I track what I actually ended up doing those days. So I've just got like a little code here where like a blacked out day is a coffee shift for like an event or cafe or whatever um, white is a day off or a day not working it could be sick days and stuff as well diagonal lines mean a writing day and um, horizontal lines mean business or social media or videos or whatever else H I don't remember what H means hmm and in my mood tracker, like I said, I flipped things around so that it was now happy and calm at the top, low and anxious at the bottom, and I'm still tracking these. Um, and I also added caffeine onto this because caffeine is something that I always worry about. It's kind of like, I don't react very well to it and it's associated with anxiety for me. Um, like it can make me really anxious. So I thought it'd be really good to actually see how much caffeine I'm having and see if it actually has an impact on my mood our anxiety and stress and stuff and um, yeah like I did find it actually it did kind of the day after but not as much as I expected it to so that's good to know. Um, I did my coffee hours tracking again and I added an expenses bit here because I was trying to get um, to be more financial um, and keep track of things because now that I've got a good idea of what my living costs are I wanted to see like what am I spending on everything that isn't living costs. Um, I went a bit nuts that month because that was just when I got my North of the End funding and I was like, yay! So then I've got my lists. Um, I just boiled them down to one page and uh, business, correspond and hearth. And that seems to work really well. So I've just kept on doing that. Um, those, that seems to cover everything that I need to make a list about. Um, I experimented with this um, like daily schedule bar that I saw somewhere online. I do really like it. If I ever have like a super a uh, crazy busy day where I need to time things and I probably will use it but actually that's far too much detail um, for what I need really for my day to day because um, usually I've just got you know it's a writing day, it's a business day, it's a coffee day and then like maybe a couple of things on top of that in the evening but I usually take the evenings off. Don't really need to go into this amount of detail. Um, and my expenses ran longer so I just like added a little bit in here and made a note to myself to make it bigger next time. So some more dailies, um, I had a trip to Edinburgh, so just a packing list, and then the details of my train journey and things like that. Um, more dailies. I had a slight crisis about my slash our flat and so started making some lists on ways to make it nicer and things that need to be cleaned and stuff, um, which I should really go back to at some point. At some point I also forgot what the fuck I even enjoyed anymore. Um, I did a few days I think where I was just like ah what am I doing with myself or it was like a day off and I didn't know what to do so I was like I'm gonna make a list of the things which I like to do um, and now that's there and that's a thing that exists. So this is the first time I tried a weekly spread I thought it might be handy just because like because my monthly goes over two pages like I was like it'd be nice to just see the week and plan it in advance because like I schedule week to week based on when I get my shifts and then I work the rest of my work around that. This like was okay. Um, I quite liked that it forced this to be quite small and I was like ooh I could maybe just split and do my dailies like on half pages. That's quite nice. That means that we're not like wasting space like like a lot of this space ends up being quite blank. Um, but I didn't really like how I set this out at all to be honest. I was like it's a bit messy and doesn't 
it's not very clear and stuff so that's some more dailies and then that was the end of the month so there's just some blank space. I work with someone who makes a lot of awesome salads and I want to eat more healthy things so I took note of those recipes for later. So now we're on to May, um, this is my current month and again you can see it's a bit of an upgrade, um, I've got copper washi tape on my divider for this one because I couldn't help myself, I found it in Edinburgh and I couldn't resist and to be fair I don't really spend a lot of money on fancy stationery things I don't need ever, I always make sure I need it before I buy it so I was like fuck it I'm getting a tape okay live my life. So I went a bit nuts this month and put my editorial calendar, social media business stuff, on the left and then the month and shifts and things in the middle and then other stuff here and that was fine. It's not, it's not a huge deal. Um, and again, like I'm still kind of figuring stuff out with this section so I don't know. Um, and then I've got my tracker and it's pretty much the same except that I've maybe made it a bit neater. I added these little like, so I finally figured out my icons for my caffeine. So it's like half a cup of coffee is equivalent to one cup of caffeinated tea, two cups of tea, one cup of coffee, um, and then one and a half coffees. So like, that's how I measure my caffeine. Um, and as you can see, I don't really go that high. So, you know, I guess I'm doing something right. Um, I pared down my tracker a bit um, because I found I wasn't really using, or didn't really care about how many Instagram posts I do and things like that. So it's just a gym cycle, period and read. And yes, that is me track, keeping track of when my period is, because why the fuck not? So for the list page, instead of doing the whole tab, I just did a half because I found when I was flipping to it, I was getting mixed up between the lists and then the month. Um, so that's like a good way to differentiate those. And again, same list, hearth, biz, correspond. These are things that, so like I'm really bad at like getting things off my hearth list because I am a total INFJ and I um, consider everything that isn't to do with writing kind of like holding me back from it, like as a waste of time. And even though I know that these things need done, I find it really difficult to justify doing them instead of things. So these are some things that I was like, oh, I don't wanna carry them all over and fill up this entire list before the month has even started. So I thought, oh, I'll put them on a post-it and then hopefully I'll get something done and I can just rip it off. And I have not, because I am not good at that. So lists, I made expenses its own list and that seems to be about the perfect size for it as well. I left this section blank because I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it and it stayed blank. And here I was trying a different weekly spread, so I was trying to do it on a quarter of a page instead and it was okay. Um, it was meant to be like this is the week and then I would have the dailies for that week in here but then it ended up not really working out that way and I tried it again a couple of times and it still just ended up with this like weird space and I didn't like it so that's why I'm changing it. That was the last time I set up that spread and then I just wanted to start a new page so I just crossed that out. This is right now so that's today um, and this is where I introduced my new favourite thing which is this little box system so like I decided that this kind of like little code was actually a lot better way to um, keep track of my shifts and things than just writing it out like this because like there's sometimes I do half days so it'll be like write slash biz and there's no it sounds like I'm doing two whole days in one day and like also this is just unwieldy and I don't really like the way it looks so I decided to start a new system based on this guy um, and I changed it up so I've got a new key here so this so black again is coffee and um, diagonal is right I changed business to vertical lines instead of horizontal because it showed up a bit better off is still blank Um, little music notes are music day for Ross and then I've got a little fork and knife for groceries and so that is hopefully going to help me plan out my week a lot quicker so this is quite a good at a glance system and when it's split in half like that it means so for instance this day I did coffee in the morning and then I did, write, I did writing in the afternoon and I'm pretty excited to keep going with that. Um, it also means that I've changed the format of my dailies so that instead of having the first um, entry be write or biz or coffee um, I've changed it to this box here which then like separates it and it's just super simple and kind of clean and I really like it. So this was my last attempt at a weekly um, spread and I really liked the way this looked a lot better because it looks so much neater and I was using my little box system but this is the last time I think I'm going to do this. I think I've just basically taken this format and kind of transferred it into my monthly so that I can just use monthly and daily again and 
Um, I don't think I'm going to split the page anymore because I think I, I kind of miss just how it looked before when it was quite simple. So that's what it's going to look like. I'm just going to have my dailies like that. So this won't be applicable to you if you're not a writer, but if you are, then it will be. Um, but basically, um, I'm working on my revision of North of the End and uh, it's a huge, huge project and it can be really difficult to stay motivated when um, like the end is so far away. So I'm a big proponent of chapters um, being as much for writers as they are for readers and that they help us break up a book um, into manageable chunks. And I wanted a way to track um, my progress through the chapters and give myself rewards for it as well. So as you can see, I've got the chapter. Oops, city. It's probably not even a spoiler really, but it was just in case. I've got the chapter on this side and um, this little triangle guy and then a reward on this side. And whenever I finish the chapter, I color in the left side. And whenever I give myself the reward, I score in the right side. And the great thing about this that I'm really proud of is that um, it means I get to give myself a new reward for every chapter because I could say like, oh, you know, when I finish the chapter, I will get to buy myself a book. But like, this is a really big project and has a lot of chapters. And that means like quite a lot of books and really, like maybe a book isn't exactly what I want right then. So um, this gives me the space to make the reward the thing that I'm most excited about at the moment, um, which obviously is going to make it a lot more motivating. So so that's something that I'm hoping will be really useful. Okay, so my last month, um, the month I just set up and it hasn't started yet, is June. I am really happy with how this came out. Um, apart from the fact that I definitely like uh, punched my bullet journal with a pair of scissors by accident because um, I was having a clumsy period day and I ripped it here so that's why I've got tape on the bottom as well didn't even go on properly and it looks stupid but oh well yeah I've got my washi tape and um, so I've got my little box system now for my work days which I just really like how neat it looks and I'm looking forward to filling that in. I think it's gonna be quite satisfying. To the right of that, I've just got a little space for things that aren't writing that are recurring. So Ross's music nights, um, like giving myself my pay um, and groceries and stuff like that. And then I've got the rest of this for appointments and events and whatever else needs to go in there. Editorial calendar again, hopefully this will actually start being filled by uh, videos and posts and things. For my tracker I tried to uh, minimize it a wee bit so um, instead of drawing all the lines I just kind of did the corners and things. Did a kind of much lighter and um, less intense version of my little caffeine icons um, and then yeah. And I just kind of moved the f the text over to this side into these lines so that, I don't know, it just looks kind of neater I guess. I had this space free again as I did before so I've just got a little currently reading list. Didn't read, uh, read some of it and or finished it um, because yeah I read a lot of things at the same time and I sometimes forget the things I've started so I think this is a good way to be like oh actually I could go back to that. This little guy is just a little guide for the kind of maths of my work week. Um, so I get my coffee shifts first um, and then I'll like just input them here and then I'll build around that the other days that need to happen. So two and a half writing days, a business day, two days off, which is a new thing. <laughs> um, hopefully um, I'll be able to make it last. I've only previously given myself one day off, but I kept finding that it was meant to be like my one proper day off of like actually resting and chilling and rewarding myself for all my hard work um, and then I found it would just get totally eaten up by um, like just boring adult things that had to happen like going to the gym and doing the groceries and doing the dishes and stuff like that and it was making me really sad so um, I'm gonna try two days off for a while and see how that works. Um, pretty self-explanatory here as well, got my normal list, correspond, biz, hearth, um, expenses and then I've just left this place for notes because as you can see I've got quite a lot of post-its and things and I think maybe I could actually just start writing those here. And absolutely lastly I have this recurring tasks page which is just kind of a reminder to myself whenever I'm scheduling things so I can refer back to it but like the things that need to get done every day, every week, bi-weekly, monthly and quarterly. Yeah I just thought that would be useful to have somewhere. That's my bullet journal. Um, as you can see, I'd like to keep it pretty minimalist. Um, I only ever use the same th three colors, black, pink, and turquoise, cause like brand colors, yo. <laughs> um, but also I think they just look nice and they especially look nice with the kind of spacey cover as well. I spent a lot more money on this notebook than I had planned to, um, but I actually really love it. It is really heavy, which um, isn't great like for carrying around, but I just kind of do it anyway. Um, but 
I do like the pages, it's all really good quality and like I said the cover, like it looks amazing even though it comes with me everywhere and probably gets tea and coffee spilled on it quite a lot. So. And we're back! Yay! Um, so I hope you enjoyed that little peek into my bullet journal and thus my brain. As always, I'm Rachel Steven, novelist, YouTuber, Woodland Halbitch, and if you don't subscribe, I'll bullet your journal. And if you don't want to miss out when I have something important to tell you, you can sign up to my email list over on that button over there, or it might be over there. I haven't decided yet, but it'll be on the screen for you. And don't worry, I'm not gonna just send you emails about what Elfie's doing every hour of the day, because I get it, and I hate emails too. Okay, so see you later. Um, okay. You look so happy, you little asshole.